health alert to tell you about tonight about long-term dangers related to vaping those e-cigarettes. A new study by Intermountain Healthcare researchers shows lasting damage from vaping for some patients and it's not just in the lungs. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, researchers are especially concerned because the majority of patients are relatively young. Before COVID-19 arrived, many pulmonologists were focused on e-cigarette or vaping-associated lung illness, also known as e-valley. What they're finding now is that not all patients recover. We're still seeing people that come to the intensive care unit with e-valleys. Vaping did not dissipate during the pandemic, but some may have forgotten the complications of e-cigarette or vaping-associated lung injury discovered nearly two years ago when patients were showing up at hospitals with pneumonia-like symptoms with no explanation. What nobody knew at the time and what we're starting to understand now is what happens to people that have E-Valley, um, you know, a year later? Dr. Denitza Blagev, a pulmonary and critical care physician at Intermountain Healthcare, was the principal investigator. She says not all patients bounce back to normal after they've been treated. Most people do recover, uh, but there's still a significant proportion of patients, um, you know, not the majority, um, that have significant breath. Business. Researchers examined 91 patients who suffered from E-Valley one year after their initial diagnosis. Average age, 31. 15% of the patients still have severe trouble breathing, having to stop for breath after walking 100 yards. 39% have mild cognitive impairment. 57% have anxiety and 34% have depression. People are not back to normal at the end of that, but really a proportion of patients have significant shortness of breath, mild cognitive impairment, and then really a large proportion of people have anxiety and depression. She expected to see lung damage, but not necessarily cognitive impairment. And that's really concerning to us because this is, you know, a young population. CDC surveys show that 10% of middle school students and 27% of high school students reported vaping in the last 30 days. It's only increasing um, and we can't afford to just sort of say, well, I guess they want to vape and it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. And we're just at the start of finding out how big of a deal it is. Now they want to find out whether these impacts last five or 10 years in their next phase of study. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.